Hi guys, I'm Redfoot and I'm supporting the pig-nosed turtle. Forget your big, cuddly, attention-grabbing pandas. It's time for someone else to, to step up into the limelight. Well, I guess I mean actually kind of swim up for this one. Yes, it is the pig-nosed turtle turtle. Let's, uh, let's check out his credibility. Uh, is he an animal? Well, yeah, looks a little bit like a marine turtle. He's got flippers instead of feet. But actually lives in fresh water. Uh, does he need to be preserved? Absolutely. In the last 30 years, the pig-nosed turtle population has, has plummeted to less than the half of that at the start of that, uh, thanks to illegal trading and fishing and that sort of stuff. Um, and is he ugly? Boy, is he ugly. Check out that snout on him. Well, they're descended from land animals, so they need to breathe in air in order to survive. So that's why they've got that kind of snorkel as a nose. So they don't need to leave the river, they can just poke the snorkel up and uh, breathe in through their nose. So there you go, look, vote now. It's quite clear, it's gotta be the pig-nosed turtle. No longer does he need to be bullied in the animal playground. He can now stand there with his piggy snouty nose raised up high. Right. I want to stand for the science. Not only does the pig-nosed turtle's nose act as a snorkel, it's also equipped with sensory receptors that allow it to snout out prey in murky, sandy water. It lives in northern Australia and southern New Guinea, and it's known to be pretty aggressive in captivity, suggesting that it's territorial in the wild. So there you go guys, uh, I'm Greg Foote, this is the pig-nosed turtle. I hope you feel as, as much as I do for this little guy. Look at him, look at his little ugly little face. He needs your votes. All you need to do is click like below to vote for the turtle. There's some other films here, you could go and look at them, but they're nowhere near as ugly uh, or as need for preservation or indeed as much of an animal as this guy. Uh -oh.